This lecture is about uh, mixed model estimation. In this lecture, we're going to continue discussing probabilistic topic models. In particular, we're going to talk about how to estimate the parameters of a mixed model. So let's first look at our motivation for using a, a mixed model. And we hope to fact out the background world from the topic world distribution. So the idea is to assume that uh, the text data actually contain two kinds of words. Uh, one kind uh, is from the background here. Uh, so the, is, or we, etc. And the other kind is from our topic world distribution that we're interested in. So in order to solve this problem of factoring out background words, we can set up our mixture model as follows. We're going to assume that we already know the parameters of all the, um, the values for all the parameters in the mixture model, except for the word distribution of theta sub d, which is our target. So this is a case of customizing a probabilistic model so that we embed the unknown variables that we are interested in, but we're going to simplify other things. We're going to assume we have knowledge about others. And this is a powerful way of customizing a model for a particular need. Now you can imagine we could have assumed that we also don't know the background word distribution. But in this case, our goal is to fact out precisely those uh, high probability background words. So we uh, assume the background model is already fixed. And well, the problem here is how can we adjust theta sub d in order to maximize the probability of the observed document here? And we assume all the other parameters are known. Now, uh, although we designed the model heuristically to try to factor out these background words, uh, it's unclear whether uh, if we use maximum likelihood estimate, we will actually end up having a word distribution where the common words like the will be indeed having smaller probabilities than before. So now, um, in this case, it turns out that the, the answer is yes. And when we set up the probabilistic model in this way, when we use maximum likelihood estimate, we will uh, end up having a word distribution uh, that where the common words will be factored out uh, by the use of the background uh, distribution. So to understand uh, why this is so, it's useful to uh, examine the behavior of a mixture model. So we're going to look at a very, very simple case in order to understand the, some interesting behaviors of a mixture model. The observed uh, patterns here actually are generalizable to um, mixture model in general, but it's much easier to understand this behavior when we use a, a very simple case like what we're seeing here. So specifically, in this case, let's assume that the probability of choosing each of the two models is exactly the same. So we're going to flip a fair coin to decide which model to use. Furthermore, we are going to assume there are precisely two words, the and the text. Obviously, this is a very uh, naive uh, oversimplification of the actual text. But again, it, uh, it's useful to um, examine the behavior in such a special case. So we further assume that the background model gives probability of 0.9 to the word the and um, text 0.1. Now let's also assume that our data is extremely simple. The document has just two words, text and the. So now let's write down the likelihood function in such a case. First, what's the probability of text and what's the probability of the? I hope by this point, uh, you will be able to write it down. So the probability of text uh, is basically the sum over two cases, where each case uh, corresponds to each of the word distribution. And it uh, accounts for the two ways of generating text. And inside each case, uh, we have the probability of choosing the model, which is 0.5, uh, multiplied by the probability of observing uh, text from that model. Similarly, the would have a probability of the same form, just with different uh, exact probabilities. So naturally, our likelihood function is just the product of the two. So it's very easy to see uh, that. 
once you understand what's the probability of each word, which is also why it's so important to understand the, uh, what's exactly the probability of observing each word from such a mixture model. Now, the interesting question now is, uh, uh, how can we then optimize this likelihood? Well, you will notice that there are only two variables. They are precisely the two probabilities of the two words, text and the, given by theta sub d. And this is because uh, we have assumed that all the other parameters are known. So now the question is a very simple uh, algebra question, right? So we have a simple expression with uh, two variables, and we hope to choose the values of these two variables to maximize this function. And it's exercises that uh, we have uh, seen in some simple uh, algebra problems. Right? And note that the two probabilities must sum to one. So there's some constraint. If there were no constraint, of course, we would set both probabilities to their maximum value, which would be 1 to maximize this. But we can't do that because uh, text and the must sum to 1. We can't give both a probability of 1. So now the question is, how should we allocate the probability mass between the two words? What do you think? Now, it would be useful to look at this formula uh, for a moment and to see what intuitively what we do in order to uh, set these probabilities to maximize the value of this function. Okay, uh, if we look into this further, then we'll see some interesting behavior of um, the two component models in that uh, they will be collaborating to maximize the probability of the observed data, which is dictated by the maximum likelihood estimator. But they are also uh, competing in some way, and in particular, they will be competing on the words and they will tend to bet high probabilities on different words to avoid this competition in some sense or to gain advantage in this competition. So again, looking at this objective function and we have a constraint on the two probabilities. Now, if you look at the formula intuitively, you might feel that you want to set uh, the probability of text to be somewhat larger than the and this intuition can be well supported by a mathematical fact, which is when the sum of two variables is a constant, then the product of them reaches maximum when they are equal. And this is a fact that we know from algebra. Now, if we plug that in, we would mean, we would, it would mean that we have to make the two probabilities uh, equal. And when we make them equal, and then if we consider the constraint, we can easily solve uh, this problem. And the solution is the probability of text would be 0.9 and the probability of the is 0.1. And as you can see, indeed, the probability of text is now much larger than probability uh, of the. And this is not the case when we have just one distribution. And this is clearly because of the use of the background model, which assigned a very high probability to the and low probability to text. And if you look at the equation, you will see obviously uh, some interaction of the two distributions here. Right? In particular, you will see uh, in order to make them equal and then the probability assigned by uh, theta sub d must be higher for a word that has a smaller probability uh, given by the background. Right? And this is obvious from uh, examining this equation because the background part is weak for text. It's small. So in order to compensate for that, we must make the probability of text given by theta sub d somewhat larger so that the two sides can be balanced. So this is in fact a very general behavior of um, this uh, mixture model. And that is if one distribution assigns a high probability to one word than another, then the other distribution would tend to do the opposite. Basically, it would discourage other distributions to do the same. And this is to balance them out so that we can account for all kinds of words. And this also means that by using a background model that uh, is fixed to assign high probabilities to background words, we can indeed encourage the unknown topic word distribution to assign uh, smaller probabilities for such common words. Instead, put uh, more probability mass on the content words that cannot be explained well by the background model meaning that they have a very small probability uh, from the background model, like text here.